Hey guys, what's up? Al here from LNM Gaming, and today we're going to be looking at the 4 3 3 4 variant formation. That is a tongue twister and a half in FIFA 18 World Cup Ultimate Team. Looking at the custom tactics and the player instructions, what you should be using to give you the best chance of beating your opponent. But before I do that, make sure you go and smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't done already. Can we hit 25 likes on this for another custom tactics video? You guys do seem to be loving them. That's what I'm getting the most support on. So today, that's obviously the content I'm going to be wanting to bring you. I've also got nice cool overlays which Grafifa has made me. The link will be down in the description for his Twitter. He does mint uh, graphics including thumbnails, overlays, profile pictures. He does absolutely anything graphics uh, wise. So go and follow my Twitter uh, which is right there and obviously my Facebook to stay up to date with when I'm uh, when I'm releasing content with what I think about FIFA and all my uh, other predictions and whatnot. But let's go on. That's why you're here for the player instructions and uh, custom tactics so it's going to be the same as most formations not really much has changed stay back while attacking for both your left back and right back the 4-3-3 three, three works slightly differently though with your midfielders and i believe that's the most important area of the pitch in any game uh, it's where you can see the most amount of goals <coughs> where you, you also score the most amount of goals because that's where your attack starts off from uh, but we'll get into that in uh, just a sec. So for your left wing and right wing, obviously you want them to stay forward. You don't want them to come back. Uh, I'm an attacking player. You know, if you're a bit of a defensive player and you're winning one, one or two nil in the last 60 uh, or 70 minutes, then you could cut them come back on defence. Or if you're winning by one goal and you want to be a bit more de defensive, then put them on a uh, come back on defence. Or yeah, come back on defence. But at the start of the game, I'd always keep them stay forward, cut inside. And getting behind them. You don't want them to stay wide in a 4 3 3 formation, that's very important. You want them to cut in uh, off the wing and maybe finesse it into the top right or top left hand corner. And obviously, you want them to get in behind. You want them to make the runs behind the back of the defense, what's going to cut them open and get you through one on one or, or for a sweat or whatnot. Obviously, for your, cent for your center striker, you obviously want them to stay central and get in behind and press the um, the, the opponent's back line as well so they're making runs behind that back line for your right wing again same as the left wing stay forward get cut inside and get in behind they are the same for most of um, the player instructions that I use for all my custom tactics the only thing that changes is this uh, midfielder role and as I say that's the most important part of the pitch for me obviously for my centre attacking mid I personally like them to stay forward. I don't want them coming back. That's why they're a centre attacking mid. So you've always got four people um, in attack at the same time. In terms of your two centre mids, left centre mid and right centre mid, I like them to stay back while attacking. I also like them to have high attacking work rates. Someone like Kante, uh, who's got medium high work rates, works perfectly because he won't fly forward. He'll always stay back and you'll have cover on the defence. As yet in the World Cup mode, I haven't managed to get Kante and other players who have high attacking work rates because I'm working on the road to glory side of things. But they are the player instructions we are rocking, guys. Let's go in and get onto the custom tactics, which is the main reason why you are here, really. I have got them written down, so let's go on. <coughs> Pardon me for this cold and get in and see what they are like. Speed is quite, quite an important factor when it comes to custom tactics. It decides how quick you play. I'm quite a quick player. The quicker you play, obviously, the, the, the more speed you want to play. Whether it's tick attacker or not. 4 3 3 isn't really a tick attacker formation. <coughs> it's getting the ball out wide, holding possession, looking for that run. So, the speed, you don't want it to be too fast at all. I'm going to keep it around 63, which is similar to my other formations that I play. I'm also going to keep the passing at 50. You don't want it to be, don't want it to be too long, you don't want it to be too short. You want to keep it around 50. So you've got a mixture of long and short passes. Obviously with the positioning, don't ever have it on free form. You're going to have your centre-back pushing up in the midfield. And it's just going to be absolute chaos. And you don't, you don't want that, guys. In passing, this is risky. How risky you want the passes to be. I think in previous uh, formations, I've had this around 52, 53. I'm going to have it a bit higher at 56. <coughs> in this 4-3-3 three, three, fourth variant formation. In terms of crossing... Even though it is a wide formation, crossing isn't overpowered in this FIFA. It's all about getting into the middle of the pitch. That's why crossing is only going to be at around 44. I like these two numbers to add up to 100. I don't know why. It's just something I try and try and do. In terms of the shooting, this is one of the, one of the things that I don't really understand with this FIFA. 
because uh, it's how many shots you have. So surely you should have that number higher, you know, 70 or whatever. You have lots of shots. But from videos I've watched, it's the positions your players actually get in. So I, it's up to you what you do with shooting. I personally have it around 65. If you have it on 67, FIFA then says that that's having you, that's telling you to have lots of shots. So it's up to you what you do with the shooting. I'm not entirely sure. What I do know with the positioning is you want it on free form. I do personally anyway. That means for your midfield area and your attacking area, they can swap positions. So your left wing could end up at could end up at the striker position. Your centre attacking mid could end up at your centre mid position, and vice versa. The, the attacking players can end up absolutely anywhere. It works the same way as in defence as well, but we're keeping that on organised, as you can see there. Uh, if you don't like, you know, if you want it just a rigid, solid formation, you want can say it right centre mid to stay at right centre mid position on stay back while attacking, then obviously you want that on organised. But I don't mind them switching, <coughs> and I think it gives you like a more of an attacking outlook. The most important um, thing with custom tactics is your defence, and that's where people go wrong most of the time. And it depends what sort of FIFA play you are. I say I like scoring lots of goals. I also like conceding lots of goals as well. So for this formation, I'm going to keep the pressure at 60. That's quite high. That means my defensive line is quite high. I am susceptible to getting in behind the back. But on the counter side, what it does mean, I'm also going to be winning the ball up high. And pressure and aggression go hand in hand. My aggression is going to be even higher. It's going to be on 65. That means my mid midfielders, my defenders, are going to try and press the ball. They're going to try and win it back off my opponent and that's exactly what I want to do if I want to try and do because I want to win the ball up high in order to put the through ball through to my centre attacking mid or my striker to be through for the sweat for my left wing or right winger. Team width is also an interesting one it's like shooting I don't quite understand it you would expect for the 4-3-3 uh, variant formation to want it quite wide but I think the opposite because you want them to cut inside you don't want them to be too wide at all that's why I'm putting that down at 45 around there but I don't really understand that to me you want them quite narrow you want them wide but you want them narrow you don't want them too wide because then you're gonna to have to want to cross the ball in and I'm one of them what wants to cut inside so they are my custom tactics for the 4-3-3 for variant formation as I said if you did enjoy this video be sure to like and subscribe and follow my Facebook and Twitter by looking at those overlays right there and subscribe for more awesome content guys but for now, this has been Alan M with another custom tactics video, and I will see you soon.